Good morning and welcome to Naturally Kim's Knitting. I'm from out here in sunny California right now. Generally, oh by the way, I'm Kim. I'm your hostess and generally I'm coming to you from Lima, Ohio. Well, today I'm coming to you from Dixon, California because I am visiting my grandchildren. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a little cold. Um, who happen to be outside playing right now, but you might see them pop in and out once in a while I'm by their sliding glass door. Anyways, um, this is a podcast usually about knitting and spinning and dyeing of yarn. This week's going to be a little different because I've been waiting and waiting for a package of yarn that my husband shipped almost two weeks ago now. It hasn't come out here yet. So I've only got one knitting thing to show you guys, but... You know, that doesn't stop me from talking. Anyways, I want to thank everybody for coming and viewing it the, or viewing this today. Those of you who are viewing it for the first time, like I said, this isn't a normal podcast. It's going to be highly short. While I'm out here in California, the links might vary depending on what yarn stash I get and what projects I'm working on and everything and how distracted I am by my grandkids. Anyways, um... Today, <clears throat> today is September 22nd, and this is episode 83. I have my show notes on my phone today, and so <laughs> I'm kind of going up and down between this and that. Um, <clears throat> this is episode 83, and I tell you, I have been having so much fun. I am two days late in filming this because we are, Wednesdays are extremely busy days for around here. So I'm not sure what days I'm going to be filming. I'll film whenever I can while I'm out here. <clears throat> I did catch a cold on the plane and it's just kind of still hanging on. I can't get rid of it. Anyways, I haven't had anybody new to join this week, but that's not surprising. I've not been around anyways. Goodness me. And as far as the things that are on my needles, well... One thing that better be coming out here is my Twisted Trails by Lisa K. Ross because that's supposed to be for my grandson and I was hoping to finish it while I was out here. But, oh well. But I do have from my um, Gales Art New York, New York sock blank. I started a sock on the plane and I just finished it last night. So, it's just, I haven't tucked in the ends yet, but it's just a simple vanilla sock, work toe up, and with a knit one, purl one, ribbing with a stretchy bind off. But I love the way the colors go into each other. The lighting here is so super, I tell you. Anyway, so last night, since I finished that, I started the second sock. I don't know where my camera is. There it is. So I made it that far. Yay! Okay. Otherwise, I left my double knitting at home because I was afraid I would be too distracted to keep doing my double knitting right. But we do still have the contest or the knit along going on. Um, the prize would, for whoever the winner will be, the prize will not go out until I get home probably. But um, for this knit along, any double knit item that you want to make, it can um, be any size. It could not be started before August 1st and it has to be finished by September 30th. And then I will lock the thread and I will draw a winner or two. We'll see. So anyways, so that's going on. And let's see, what else do I have going on? Well, I was supposed to be working on my granddaughter's Halloween costume, but I have a, they sent the yarn to my home instead of here. I made a mistake on the form somewhere. So the My Honey sweater, I don't know if you can see it from my phone onto my Kindle. It's going to look like that, but only it's going to be can't remember if I picked marine. I'll have to let you know. Anyways, I'm figuring all my yarn's going to come at the same time. And it's going to be just about the time I need to get more yarn. There's a Michaels here. 
and my daughter was showing me some cute things. So I may end up going there and, uh, <laughs> and enhancing my stash. Anyways, my granddaughter has been wearing her satellite sweater almost, she doesn't have it on right now, but she has been wearing it almost constantly since she's been out here. And uh, it looks so nice on her. That was by um, Lisa K. Ross also. And like I said, that was, uh, these are both purchase items or patterns. This one and the Twisted Trails, but to me, they're both worth it. I just, I love them. Well, some things that have made me happy this week. <laughs> being with my grandkids, being with my daughter, of course. And we've been having so much fun. My birthday was Wednesday and my daughter took me out for some um, Indian food. And my granddaughter said we were going that she was going to make me 100 chocolate cakes for my birthday. Well, instead, she got a little donut pan that she could bake donuts in. So she and I made some donuts and put honey on top and put one dark chocolate chip on each one because that's all that should be on then, Grandma. And there is my granddaughter right now. But sweetheart. And dad. And mom and brother, please, and you can be that. Oh, do you want to say hi, hi to my podcast, people? She, she's not wanting to be part of my podcast this year. I'm really, I'm, sh I'm surprised, but that's okay. She doesn't have to be. Um, let's see. There's something else that makes me so happy is my granddaughter loves Peg Plus Cat. And she's got me, so I'm singing the songs with her and all that stuff. Okay, I do have one book review. I don't have the link. I'll see if I can get it on my show notes later. But it's The Other Einstein. Very interesting book, and I liked it to a certain extent because I, I really did not know much about his about Einstein's first wife. But between this book and then I made me it made me want to review and see some things about her. I learned quite a bit, but it also made me mad at history <laughs> because she was a brilliant woman. She might have even been more brilliant than Einstein. She helped him with his papers and things, but she didn't get credit because she was a woman and they didn't think that it would go over well. <clears throat> so, good book. Excellent book. If a book makes me want to research even more, it's an excellent book. I'll try to get a link um, to Amazon in my show notes and you can go there to check it out if you, if you want to. And if you do purchase it through there, then I get a couple pennies. So anyways, uh, let's see what else. I really have, I've started a new book called Edendale, Edenvale. Just started it last night, so I'm not real far. And like I said, this is a very, very short podcast this week because I really don't have a whole lot more to share. There was one more thing that's making me happy, and I've, I shared this with you before. Um, from Perfectly Posh, if you have arthritis or your fingers or wrists or whatever get tired from knitting this hot pepper um shebang it's called a muscle stick but it really works with my arthritis it it just makes them nice nicely warm and soothing i got it through um a friend of my daughter's called alma reader and she's my consultant at perfectly posh. So anyways, I just wanted to rave about this because this has been perfect for me. Even though it's warm out here, it's always nice. Okay, so where can you find me? Well, you can find me on Ravelry. I want to make sure I get them all as Napier's Knits and Naturally Kim's Knitting. You can find me on Etsy as Napier's Knits. You can find me on Instagram as knitting underscore Kim. And I tell you, if you've been on Instagram lately, you've been seeing my grandchildren. You've been see you've, you've seen the satellite sweater because I had a picture of her on her. Anyways, you can find me as Naturally Kim's Knitting on YouTube, Blogger, Facebook, and WordPress. So anyways, I thank everybody for watching today. Big hugs. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Very few, if any, mistakes. And if you have them, I hope they can be corrected.
Okay. Love you all. Bye-bye.